Are you interested in running some of Apple's beta software on your iPhone, but you're not sure how to opt in for this or how to do the updates? Well, what you'll need to do is go ahead and jump into your main settings page, come down into general and then software update, where you'll see, of course, which iOS version you're currently running. And then you'll have the beta updates menu option here that we can jump into. You'll see three options here if you have a developer account connected to your Apple ID. If you don't, then you'll only see the top two options here. It will probably be off at the moment where, where you are now. And if you want to start receiving those public beta updates, then you've got the option here to choose that. The public betas are available for anyone. All you have to do is opt in for that option. Now, if you do have a registered developer account that's connected to the same Apple ID that you're using on this device, then you can go ahead and select the developer beta updates here as well. All that means is that you get these slightly sooner than the public do. You get that initial release, of course, for development purposes, but it's fun to go ahead and test that before anyone Anyone else has the opportunity. What you'll also then want to go ahead and do once you start to receive these updates is go on to the more details page so you can see exactly which iOS version you're running. And the secret here is that the final letter of the build number, the closer that is to the start of the alphabet, generally the closer we are to a public release. So currently we're on iOS 26.1 developer beta 4. We've got an A at the end of the build number. So we're expecting the full public release or at least an RC very soon.